Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to 4th of July holiday weekend here in the US. It's Independence Day and we take the 4th off for reasons I can't quite explain to you. We <laughs> light off a million fireworks and I'll talk about that a little bit later. We have a ton of happy mail and some finds. I guess I maybe acquired more than I needed in the last week. And I want to tell you what I'm working on and then we'll all get back to crafting, okay? I opened up the happy mail because it was all too much. We, we would not have made it in a timely video. Let me show you some gorgeous cards. And you guys know I don't need a thing. I do love to see your cards and hear what's going on because sometimes our conversations are very one-sided. This is from Vicky, and I wanted you to see not only her gorgeous card, but do you see that she has speckled gold on it? You know, like with the paintbrush or the brush. I don't think about that, and when I do it, I never get it as dainty as her. And then look at the gold envelope. Gorgeous. Love it, Vicky. Vicky was thanking me. She chose one of my journals from my Etsy shop and is going to use it as a gratitude journal and said, my YouTube channel is her first thing that she's grateful for. And I'm honored for that. If I make a journal and you love it, don't hesitate to ask me about it because I make way more than I use and I just don't like to put them all on Etsy. So I'm really glad you got the one that you wanted, Vicki. This is from Linda. Linda is actually here in Oregon and I have not met Linda, but I want you to see her handwriting. Look at this. If I spent a half an hour, well, maybe an hour and had a ruler, it would not look this gorgeous. Isn't it stunning? I don't usually show what people write, but oh my gosh, her handwriting is just, it's a knockout. So I just had to acknowledge it. Vicky's the one that sent me that school stamp set. She asked me, she said, you know, I know you don't need happy mail, but would you like a school stamp set? And I was honored and said yes and used it a ton. And then she sent me ephemera and look at what she did here. When we're thinking about sending each other things, if they get lumped up in one part of the envelope, it makes it too thick, it's a parcel, it doesn't work well, and the person you mail it to can end up with additional postage. So what she did was she temporarily stuck them to these sheets to keep them laid out flat, which was a really great idea. You've seen me stitch pockets in like just 20 pound cardstock to keep things laid out in an envelope. And the other thing I'm doing, please don't be offended if you get something in the mail from me and there's absolutely no note because I've cut out the card so that I can send you a treasure. You know, I can send you a card in a different stamp, but it's easier to just send two stamps and then I don't have to get to the post office. Anyway, and look at this. She sent me postage stamps, which I thought was a super sweet idea and had never occurred to me to do for another YouTuber. Easy, flat to mail, and she knows I'm going to use them, right? And they're a different stamp than I have. I have flag stamps, of course, but not these. So I thought that was super cool, and it keeps the happy mail going. One thing you said, Linda, that I didn't quite understand was I wasn't sure if you'd like this older stamp. I didn't see any stamps that I thought. So... If I'm missing something, and this is a brand new stamp, I think, so I'm not sure what you mean. Maybe email me? Anyway, I like all of this. This one is from Rhonda. She, I'm not sure if you can tell, she stamped on the pattern paper, which is just gorgeous, and then she has a bunch of dimension and gold, and I'm not going to show you the inside, but she decorated the inside too. Very cool. And then look at her stamp on the back. Hey, I made this for you. <laughs> Love it. Okay, we have a box from Tammy, who is Den of Creativity on Instagram. We'll look at that in a minute. I started to open this and then I stopped because I, I wasn't sure I'd get it back together. In fact, I probably messed up the front already. This is from our friend Mary, who is here in Salem. So same city as me, sort of, but we've actually never met. And look at all this good stuff. She's got red, white, and blue tassels and a pin, oh, and then she's kind of showing me how to use them, so I like that. And then she wrote a note, it says, thank you for the beautiful butterfly journal, and attached it with the ribbon, which I thought was a really neat idea. And then she has die cut some stars along here, and can you hear it? It feels luscious and crinkly. It's a napkin, I'm pretty sure. 
I think it's a napkin. I think that's how she got that texture. Oh my gosh, it's just a precious little journal. Road trip, are we there yet? Oh my gosh, look at that. She sent me some die cuts of these corner pieces and then she's made some red, white, and blue. Has all sorts of ephemera that I could use in my July daily. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, Mary. I love it. Oh, look at those. Things are looking up. Happy 4th of July. Look, this is her idea of a card. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so fun, Mary. So fun. Oh my gosh. And she has a wonderful quote back here from Emma Bombeck. And some more ephemera. So she's made me a gorgeous card. Red, white, and blue. And an ephemera book. Oh, I love the idea of combining them. That's so cool. I'm gonna go through that off camera in detail. Thank you so much, Mary. Okay, so then let's take a look at Tammy's. Tammy didn't give me a heads up. I don't know what she's up to. Oh my gosh, clearly she's been watching people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's been paying attention, hasn't she? Oh, look at this. Look at that truck. It almost feels like a napkin. I think it is. I think she's napkined it. And I would like to know, Tammy, do you use, it feels so perfect and not bowed at all. Did you use the saran wrap trick? I haven't tried that where you put the saran wrap under it and you melt it. Or a laminator. Or did you use like a matte gel medium? Because mine are usually bowed and this one feels like perfect. So I want to know your trick. Let Freedom Ring is embossed, and then she has glitter hearts down there. Tammy's thanking me for sending her that duplicate, it's actually this one, I think, duplicate stamp set that I ended up with. I hope you're using it this week, Tammy. I'm using mine. Oh, you know what? That's what this stamp is from, because I used that this week, too. <laughs> so sweet of you, Tammy. You did not have to do this. I just like to send things to places that will make people happy. Instead of having, oh my gosh, two in my own room. Look at this. So she's got all kinds of goodies. This is really perfect. My July daily is created. Some of you might say decorated, but some pages are totally blank. But there is room for all sorts of goodness. Oh, look at this. So God Bless America by Steve Duncan. This is probably the very center part. That's why it says it's by Steve Duncan. And you can use these for all sorts of things. And if you don't want to see the designer's name, which many people are smitten with his work and would want to see it, uh, you could cover it up. You could put like a little tiny stripe of glitter. Oh my gosh, this is all great stuff, Tammy. Thank you so much. And then this notepad. Oh, I love it. And then she sent me napkins. Oh, look at that too. And then she's going to tell me how she made her card so I can make some cool ones that good. She said she has an assortment. I was right. It's a napkin. Happy 4th. So look at this, you guys. If you're looking for a paper and you're trying to think of ideas, very often, I'm not saying this one did, so don't run out there and look, but this is four cards worth of stuff. So you do want to trade with your friends because if you have a Dollar Tree pack of napkins or something, it's only a dollar, but you're going to make the same card a lot. But maybe that's okay with you. Maybe you'll try decorating the truck different ways on each of them. Very often, one napkin is four cards. Oh my gosh. She mentioned cards or maybe journal covers in her uh, card. Look at this. Okay, the other thing that I want to be sure and share with you is it looks to me, I could be wrong and I'll check, but it looks to me like Tammy has prepped these. So to save herself space on postage and to save me work, I think she took off the additional layers. And the way to check that and I'm not going to do it because I'm 99% sure and I don't want to mess this up for a journal cover. You just take a piece of washi, washi tape or scotch tape and you stick it on here. We'll do it. I'll just be super careful. See how it's, it's not pulling a layer up. This is only one layer. She prepped them all. When you do your projects, you just want one layer or the layers will separate and give you a mess. This is an awesome napkin. Fabulous. And she gave me a couple of them in case I mess up. So cute. And then here's some tealy ones. Oh, and they have gold in them. Look at those. 
you guys know that I don't buy groceries and I really don't get out much? So I don't see stuff out in the world. Oh my gosh, I love those. What is this? I have to see it. It looks like silver lacy stuff. Oh my. That needs to go on a July Daily page too. Can you even see it? Because it's so light. Let's try this. Make sure I'm not giving away any private information. Look at that. That would be gorgeous on anything you make. A card, a journal page. Look at that. A stripe on a card with a scrap of paper under it. Oh my gosh. That is super cool. And then star. You can never have too many stars. Thank you so much, Tammy. Fun, fun stuff. I think I got it all. My apologies, you guys. You know I get distracted and I'm not good at looking at all the happy mail. Thank you. You did not have to thank me for that stamp set. Silly, silly. I just like to share. I'm going to turn this card back over so you can admire it. Noni and I went to Eugene. You know, she is my bargain shopping neighbor. And she saw... There was, I don't remember why, but we couldn't go. There was a garage sale online. I think she saw it on Facebook. And it was a group of crafty friends getting together and selling things. And we couldn't go. And Noni emailed with the person after, which is a great idea. If you guys see those sales and it's too late, send an email. I've done that. Or a message. You know, if you see the Facebook ad and the sale was yesterday, message the person. Say, hey, I'd be interested in leftovers. Do you want to send me a photo? You know, that kind of thing. Don't show up at their house. Noni looked at some photos and then just circled what we wanted and sent the messages back. This is how you do it in this day and age. And you can all do it on your phone. And then we made a plan to go visit and meet Mary, who is our new friend in Eugene. So now in our crafting and relaxing family, we have two Marys. It's going to get confused. So Mary and Eugene invited us down. We bought our big bag of garage sale stuff. This is mine. Noni's, of course, you know, her stash was like five times bigger. She showed us her beautiful craft room, which I didn't even think to ask her if I could take a picture and share with you. It was immaculate. Those of you who are mortified by my room and want to come clean it for me, her room was like Noni's on a perfect day when she hasn't made a card in weeks. It was impeccable. There was one jar and it was a family cookie jar full of ribbon, not sorted by color, a big mess. I picked it up and laughed. It was the only thing that looked remotely like my craft room. Everything else was just impeccably done. So big shout out to Mary. <laughs> I would say she should come do mine, but she would be scared away. It was amazing, you guys. Everything was micro sorted and in bins and labeled. And she had gorgeous shelves on the wall. I should have taken a picture. She got them from a stamp store. But if you have somebody in your life that has a drill press, you could make these. And I was looking at them and thinking through it and it was pretty cool. So anyway, this is what I got from Mary. Oh, and her yard was gorgeous, really inspiring and creative. And her charming husband made us a wonderful lunch too. So it was like the most crafty fun. It's a trek though, because she's over an hour for us. So to go and visit, it's it's a project. We thought about checking out Mecca, which is the creative reuse store in Eugene, but she was right. They, they must've been closed because we called them and there was no answer. So soon they'll open in their new location and I'll really want to check it out, but I don't know when that will be. Look at this. Simon says stamp stars and I don't have this one exactly. And I think it's going to be cool because it's going to cut out really delicate stars, a star border that's like almost tricky to glue on. This one is a mosaic star, so it will cut out all these tiny shapes. Maybe not really my style, a little bit geometric, but I thought I would try it out, right? And she just had such good prices. And then I don't know what Wilson wants. He came up and started nudging me. And then this set is animals, but it has like a crocodile type guy down here. And I thought I would like him. I think it's an outline stamp, which would imply that I'm going to color and we know that's not true. It is. Another trick for outline stamps is stamp them on green paper and then fussy cut them. Okay. And then there's the die. Oh, so I don't even have to fussy cut it. I could stamp them on green paper, blue paper, teal paper, whatever color you want them. And die cut it. And you'll see me do that with dogs and other things too. Then this one, I don't know. I was thinking gratitude journals and I don't believe I have any pumpkin-y stamps. And I know I had a lot of fun with pumpkins in the little die 
set that I have, and I cannot think of who gave that to me right off the top of my head. I can picture her channel. Oh my gosh. Anyway, she's adorable, and she gave me a little die set. So I do have a pumpkin die, but I thought I might want stamps. Happy fall, happy Thanksgiving. Choose to be grateful. Love it. Absolutely love it. Not that Noni wouldn't have hooked me up, but this way, you know, if she's not up at 5.30 or 6.30 in the morning one day and I want to do something, joy. And we were talking about this. I think it's very Christmassy, but we also could snip off some of the things and be careful about the color choices. Maybe in gold, it's not Christmassy. Oh, it's confusing. Okay, there's a whole bunch of other dyes in here too. So you have the actual, uh-oh, do you have the J? Yeah, you have the actual J-O-Y. So I could cut those out in any colors. I could cut them out in red, white, and blue separately. So really neat. Mary has impeccable taste, you guys. That's what, I've talked about that before. If someone has a garage sale and they don't have good taste or their taste is the complete opposite end of the spectrum, maybe it's the best ever, but it's just not your style. It doesn't work. But Mary, when you looked at the brands and the products that she was buying, she's like Noni's twin. Okay. It was hilarious for me. So it's really fun to have your friends trash, right? We've talked about it before. This stuff, you know, it's all good stuff. Mary just wasn't going to use it. Okay, so we left Mary's house. It was getting late. It was a crazy hot day. So we said, okay, uh, Mecca's closed. We're going to go straight home. And then we saw an estate sale sign. And if you know my friend Noni, <laughs> well, we're going. Uh, we only went to one. We just saw the one sign and went. And I said, it looks like they're closed. And she said, we're going in. And we walked all through the house. And the person was a stamp collector. So... I, I don't think I could beat these prices at Scrap PDX because you pay per individual. Plus, I love the fact that I can sort them in the leisure of my home. Just bring armfuls home. Scrap PDX and other places should maybe think about bagging them just like this because I would buy them. I don't always want to dig through the bin. I don't have that kind of time when there's tons of other things to see. So big bag for $2.00. Another big bag for $2. No information, no logic in pricing. Just, you know, buy stamps. I bought this one because it had a butterfly in it. You know, butterflies were on my brain. A dollar. A dollar. A dollar. This one has some really cool... Let's be honest. I would have paid a dollar for these. <laughs> They're little stamp collector envelopes. Listen... What's that called? Anyway, it looks like yellowed vellum, but there's another name for it, and they were awesome. So the envelopes and such in here are pretty much, look at this, international stamps, or why I bought this. It's just too cool. And there was stuff there for actual stamp collectors and like a giant fancy book, like even fancier than the one I got at the other garage sale, which by the way, not even sure where it is, must be in the cupboard of shame and haven't touched. And a dollar. I bought all those. Then I asked how much for these. This is 1951, has all the stamps on it, beautiful handwriting. All these letters. I didn't read a single one or peek at them. Oh, didn't even see those back there. But I just thought I would really like to have some letters with this beautiful writing, I think. So let's take a peek. Yeah. Now, I don't know how pencil holds up and mixed media type things, but I just thought it was fun. The paper's kind of yellowed. And I would have paid easily a dollar just for the envelopes. Uh, I, I just asked how much, and she said a dollar, and I said, okay. So I think all in I was like $9 or something, and just happy as can be. I haven't gone through the stamps at all. I've been busy this week and I kind of wanted to show to you. They've been here for days, but I've been busy working. What I thought I might do is during fireworks, the 4th of July, Wilson will need uh, structure and coziness. So what we typically do is laundry, dishwashers running, AC fan is on full blast, and I'm sitting down watching TV and we're contained in a room. This would be a great project for that night to just start opening them up and sorting them. So if you are like jealous here, don't hesitate to leave me a comment that says, 
I would love some stamps. And don't be shy about saying your favorite color or I don't know what it is about stamp. You know, I don't know. There's going to be a lot and these will happy mail really easily. And I'll just put them in envelopes and share them is what I was thinking. At first, I was like, what am I going to do with all these stamps? And I know there are projects where you can take a million and lay them out and like make a sheet of them and then die cut it and do cool things or make journal cards. I can do some of those and share with you. And that's what Noni said. She was like, oh, just happy mail them. Maybe I should have bought more. I don't know. Are these like the most amazing prices ever? I don't think so, but I think maybe they're the most amazing prices I've encountered. Plus, sometimes when I'm at a creative reuse store or something like that, space is an issue. Space was not an issue because we were driving in a car. It is 4th of July weekend. I will show you a flip on this before for July Daily, but this is my July Daily. It was going to be skinny. That did not happen, did it? I had a plan. I had it all figured out. This weekend, I'm going to work on, I need to figure out what am I going to take to the beach? What are my girls weekend beach projects? Because there's 4th of July weekend, then it's very busy at work, then there's one weekend, and then we leave that Thursday, I think. So that next weekend has to be about packing up, cleaning the room, making sure you don't forget the paper cutter, that sort of thing. I can't pack on Wednesday night for the trip. I mean, I can pack my clothes and my food, but I can't pack all my crafty stuff. There was one time on a girls beach weekend, I have videos of those if you want to look. I, I call them different things though. Crafty weekend, beach weekend, whatever. Where I literally planned out what I was going to do on Thursday night and what I was going to do Friday night and what I was going to do Saturday. It worked out ridiculous. I made so much stuff. So I'm kind of toying with that. And the reason that I plan the sequence of the projects is so I'll get the stuff opened. And when I pack up, I know what's going in them and I'll find my tools and supplies and projects and inks that would work in the next project. You don't have to do that. You can just fill up your entire car and go. But I think it's a little overwhelming when you get there. Plus, we are taking an additional person. And my friend Katie is actually like a little worried, like, do we have enough space for another person? And I'm sure we do. Oh, which reminds me, this is why you have to plan ahead. I need to put a table in my car, I think. So our plan was put the table on the bottom and then put all the stuff. It is a little fun for me if you get there and you... It's about a three hour drive, probably at least, and you get there and you sit down and you know exactly what you want to work on. And I like my first project to be small, not like I'm going to make 10 journals tonight. Uh, one other thing I picked up that's sitting here and I forgot to tell you, mini domed ink foam things. I have the flat kind and I bought one package originally. I only have two handles, so I want more handles also, but... Noni just picked these up for me and we'll get the handles for me later. And quite honestly, I've mentioned it. If cat's eyes still existed, all I really want is a brown one, maybe a gray one, a light blue one, and a dark blue one. But they don't exist very well. And sometimes I want to use my certain inks, my brilliant blue or my prize ribbon from Tim. So it just depends. I am not going to be a fancy ink blender. Change the channel if that's what you're looking for. And I probably, it takes me years to use a whole pack and I wash them, but sometimes I'm hard on them too. So I thought I would try these domed ones. Noni said they are better. I'm really heavy handed and I end up with circles if I try and make like a sky background. So maybe these will help. Not that you need more gadgets, just saying. Beach projects. I'm thinking beach projects are UFOs. What I'm trying not to do is just pack up all the stuff for my collabs and take to the beach and do all the same stuff that I would do, right? I want to do above and beyond. I'll probably take my July daily, but what I'm thinking is for July daily, somewhere in here, here, I was thinking I would take a thing of ephemera and bling and like this would be my July daily instead of a counter and a half worth of stuff that I've been working out of. Makes sense? And just get it down to, oh, I'll need some paper scraps too because not every page has a journaling card yet. But if I take any red, white, and blue or if I take Christmas in July, I'd have red paper with me. I haven't decided yet, so we'll see. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, if you are here in the U.S., you should know that July 5th is the absolute busiest day of the year for animal shelters. Fireworks 
spook animals, period, hands down. If you have a cat that is perfectly content indoors or outdoors, make sure it's indoors on the 4th. If you have a dog that hangs out in the backyard just fine, typically, and you're leaving to go to a barbecue, but that dog is good inside, put it inside. Lock up everyone that you can. I have an indoor-outdoor cat, an always-indoor, and a dog that has a dog door. On 4th of July, he doesn't have a dog door. And my indoor-outdoor cat, she's in by, mm, I would think, five or six. We tuck everybody in safely. Don't assume that your dog will be fine because you've never had a problem. You might have new neighbors. You might have new grandkids visiting next door, and they may blow up the planet while you're at a barbecue. And your dog will leave a cartoon-shaped hole in the fence, and you will be heartbroken. So please, please, please lock them up. That's my soapbox for today. (laughs) Take good care of yourselves, and I hope you're crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.